again everyone. So what you're looking at here is a miniature compressed air generator, runs purely on compressed air. Uh, it's the same motor inside as what you've seen in a previous video, so please go check that out on the channel. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, it looks a little bit something like this. So basically, we've got a USB port, the generator inside uh, can generate anywhere between uh, 12 to 5 volt, depending on the compressed air in there. Um, we've got the battery that powers the generator uh, motor, just to turn it over, because obviously I can't turn it over by hand when it's inside this casing. So we've got a little switch here that will turn the little motor inside on, uh, and then we can turn it off straight away plug something into the USB port. We're gonna be running this little air engine generator at uh, about 30 to 35 PSI. This will generate about five volts. And the aim with this is that we're going to power or charge up this little torch here, um, which is USB uh, powered. Here, little charging USB port at the back. We're gonna connect it up and um, show it all operating and functioning. So, as said before, we've got the starter motor switch here. So, what that's happening is there is that we are making a connection between the switch and the battery and the actual motor. As soon as I turn the switch off again, um, the compressed air will take over and that motor will turn into a generator, which is what's going to generate the actual voltage. So as you can see, it's pretty compact, it's pretty small. This is the original housing that the, um, the motor was in uh, as a compressor, because this was an air compressor that we have converted into a little air powered generator. So let's fire this thing up and show you how it runs. Okay then, so we've got the air compressor currently set up at uh, about 50 PSI. So we're just gonna make the air connection. So all I did then was I turned on the air supply, flicked on the starter switch and turned it back off again straight away um, so that the motor then goes back into generator mode. It wasn't turning fast enough, the engine wasn't turning fast enough to generate enough voltage to charge this torch here. So what I've just done is turned on the air supply. We're now running at about 55 psi. This is now enough to charge this torch. It should be around 5 volt, 250 milliamps.
one thing also worth noting with this little engine that it operates a lot better upside down than it does do if it was stood upright. I believe this is because you've got gravity helping the piston go back down into the reset position before the compressed air enters the cylinder. I also think it helps the ball bearing valve stay open for longer when it's upside down. So it's now operating at just below 30 psi, but the closer to 25 psi. As soon as I turn this upright, the engine cuts off. So at lower pressures, it performs a lot better upside down. As you can see here. But if we turn the pressure back up, So that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. It's just something silly and simple. Uh, tiny five volt compressed air generator basically. To surmise, we've got a small battery in the back, starter switch at the front, USB cable, compressed air feed at the top. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave some uh, videos of this running so for anyone who wants to see any more close-up videos of this engine. So hope you'll enjoy. See you again soon.